Time now for the morning rush. This morning, crime on UNM's campus is holding steady and, in some cases, even dropping. UNM's uh, annual safety report shows that the number of liquor law violations dropped from 316 in 2017 to 191 in 2018. Now, the university says the reason may be students drinking less, having fewer parties, or just no longer living on campus. One of the only crimes that went up on campus was rape. Erica. Well, we have some cold fronts moving through this morning. That is the reason for the messy weather across the state and the dropping temperatures. These fronts push south as we go through this morning, but we'll still have this uh, snow, wintry mix, and even freezing rain sticking around for the east side of the state till at least noon, but we will start clearing it up during the early evening hours. Secretary of State Maggie Toulouse Oliver is no longer in the running for U.S. Senate race. In a statement yesterday, Toulouse Oliver said that she's backing fellow Democrat and Congressman Ben Ray Lujan for the seat. She also says it's critical for her to remain here in New Mexico to continue her work as the Secretary of State. UNM's credit rating has been downgraded. Now, the rating system by Standard and Poor's Financial Service reflects an institution's ability to repay the long term debt. The downgrade comes from a decline in state funding and enrollment. The university's senior vice president of finance and administration uh, says that UNM still has the highest rating out of all the colleges here in the state. Looking ahead to election day on November 5th, the city will offer free bus rides. The city of Albuquerque says they're waiving the fees for bus fares on election day. Now, it's all in the effort to encourage more people to get out and vote in the upcoming local election. Free rides will be given on all ABQ ride fixed route buses as well as the sun vans. Right now, New Mexico firefighters and PNM workers across the state are waking up in Northern California, helping with the Kincaid fire. The fire sparked six days ago and is only 15% contained. The firefighters will assist California fire crews in battling the blaze. Now, PNM workers will help restore power to Northern California. The next time you, you turn to consumer reviews, be sure to look closely. California consumer advocate Jason Brown founded ReviewFraud.org. Now, that's a website dedicated to finding fake five star reviews online. Since its launch, Brown found that more than 30 businesses in New Mexico with fraudulent reviews. Now, Brown says ways to keep from getting fooled is to check multiple review sites. Erica. I put the Metro Threat Index a little bit higher for today, up to a five, because temperatures are just going to be pretty chilly out there, only making it up to 40 degrees. And that's a temperature we normally expect for our overnight lows at this time of year. So grab all of your winter gear as you're heading out the door this morning. You will need it. It will be breezy at times with winds up to 20 miles per hour. That may make it feel like we are in the 30s today. A state lawmaker is agreeing with the NCAA's ruling to allow student athletes to get paid. State Senator Mark Morris says that he wants to make sure that schools like UNM and New Mexico, New Mexico State are paying student athletes. NCAA officials decided that student athletes could get paid for the use of their likeness if the schools add rules to allow that. Well, tomorrow, New Mexico's first ski area is set to open on Halloween. Sipapu Ski Resort says it plans to open on Halloween. More than three weeks earlier than scheduled. Now, the resort says that they've been working hard to open first and that this year's conditions are making that possible. They also add they're going to be starting off with a 12 inch base. Two men attempting a cross country motor scooter ride. They are set to stop in New Mexico today. Michael Reed and his video producer are trying to break the world record by riding through all 48 contiguous U.S. states. The journey is set to show the diverse cultures throughout the country. They're scheduled to arrive in the northeast part of the state later on today. Tomorrow, Albuquerque's Parks and Rec Department is hosting their first ever trunk or treat event. The department is encouraging businesses, community groups, or anyone to host a trunk or booth. All you have to do is decorate the back of your car, then hand out candy. The free event will take place tomorrow night starting at 5 p.m. at Balloon Fiesta Park. Local owners, local business owners rather, and artists, they are getting a helping hand as they venture into the next phase of their careers. The city says that Albuquerque's creative community are big contributors to the local economy. And partnering with the State Bar this Saturday, they're going to be giving out free legal advice. That's on everything from protecting your brand to ideas to start selling your art. Tottenham Offs at uh, Ski Santa Fe has a ranking now among America's best ski area bars. That's according to USAToday.com. Now, the paper says that the bar made the list for the, because of the unique vibe for skiers and snowboarders. Drinks are served to the sounds of live music all throughout the season. Game 7 of the World Series is happening tonight. Alex Bregman and the Houston Astros, they're facing off against the Washington Nationals for a final time. The Nationals clinched victory last night in Houston, winning 7-2, forcing Game 7. Tonight's final game will be in Houston. First pitch is set for 6 p.m. Eric Rowe.
Let's get a look at the morning drive. There's one accident on Paseo del Norte eastbound uh, at the river, backed up to Unser Boulevard Northwest. There is a lot of congestion out there near that accident. It's stop and go, so expect delays up to around 20 minutes.